Are you suffering from a drug-induced psychosis? Well, don't worry. So what's my story? Two, two and a half years ago, I took a lot of drugs. I took LSD regularly every two weeks, and I would take about 250 uh, micrograms per session. I also took a lot of mushrooms. I took about 10 grams per session, which is more than most people do, I guess. And for a long time, that was really enjoyable. But eventually, things changed. I had a nightmarish experience, which haunted me for two years. And at the time, I thought for sure I had a psychosis. What happened was my consciousness kind of split. It made it feel like I was more than one person. Lost an understanding of reality as well. Everything seemed so fake and non-real. Just touching my skin felt like a simulation. It broke down all my preconceived notions of what makes reality. It broke down my defense barriers. So the thing is, when you grow up, you learn things about your environment, you learn things about yourself, and you eventually build these into a an understanding of the world. What drugs can do sometimes, it, it erases all of those, those um, understandings. So for example, um, your relationship towards other people, who you are in a group, that could just be erased. And then you have to find out all over again who you are, what your priorities are, uh, what do you want to do with your life, why you're alive. All these things come to the surface because you have to redefine yourself from scratch. And that's basically what I had to do. I had panic attacks almost every night. I would work in the I would work all day and distract myself. And when I came home at night I would just have panic attacks and I couldn't sleep and I had I had nightmares where I was just dreaming of static. Nothing else. Just pure static. That was a scary experience. I stayed away from knives because I was afraid that I would kill myself because I wasn't sure if I was in control over my body and my consciousness. You know, the idea went through my head that oh, I, I, have an, I have a psychosis. That's what it is. It, and I started looking online a lot. I looked for a lot of content uh, that would confirm this idea that I have a psychosis. I wanted to self-diagnose myself so that I had an easy solution. This is what I have to work on. And the more I researched whether or not it was a psychosis, the more that confirmed it to me that it was a psychosis. But my message to you is if you, if you have taken drugs and you had a really bad trip and now you're worried if you have a psychosis, stop googling, stop searching, just give it a rest. Because knowing whether or not it is psychosis, I don't think that's helpful to you in your current situation. Now, if you have a, an actual psychosis, like you think the CIA, CIA is after you, you think people are trying to kill you, whatever it is, maybe you look for some professional help but if you are uh, just suffering from potentially a bad trip and it's fucking with your perception, just give it some time. Almost all drug-induced psychoses are temporary. So you don't actually have to worry too much about it. You're probably fine. There are exceptions and I'm not going to pretend that I know everything about psychology. I'm not a psychologist. But in my experience, what I needed was time to recover, to sleep, to be alone. Uh, I moved back in uh, with my sister so I would have more security, safety, people around me. I, I had a really nice cat that helped me. And I'm not saying these things are going to help you because I'm not going to give you the solution. Because there are, there are no solutions. That's an individual process. What you need is totally individual to you. But I will say that I wouldn't be too scared of the process you're going through. It is a rebirth. You have to switch your way of thinking that you are 
broken, destroyed, and this is never going to get better, to thinking, well, this is erasing who I was. But that means that I have an opportunity now to redefine who do I want to be. And you'll have no leftovers from your past that dictate that anymore because it's within your power, your control to change that. And that is a rare gift. That is beautiful. I'm also not going to say that it's easy. This may take some time. This may take some love from other people. You may want to share your experience. You may, you may want to write it down. You may want to go to a psychologist. But what you shouldn't do is assume that you are broken beyond repair. And if you feel this way, I relate to that, I empathize, and I really hope you're doing well. And if you want help, you can send me a message, we'll talk. I'll just listen. But you are not broken. And stop googling, stop searching, stop trying to confirm that you are broken. Because you are not broken. The way I look at a drug-induced psychosis, the temporary ones, is that you are bombarded with too much information, your brain is changing too fast, and eventually it just goes snap. It says no more. It falls apart. And that is a really scary process, but you gotta stick with it, because on the other side is a better life. I'm happier now than I was before. I'm more clear on my goals, my priorities, and my human values. I am less scared of trying and failing than I was before. There is light at the end of this tunnel. Enjoy the process if you can. And if you don't enjoy it, that's also fine. Stick with it. You're going to be fine. And don't be afraid to tell your friends and family that what you've gone through. They will care for you. They will take care of you. If you explain it to them. Explain that you're, you're scared. Talk openly. Because if you don't shine a light on this, it's going to stay real dark. So I hope that helped you in any way. If not, just let me know. And if you did get some value from this video, please like, subscribe, comment. It helps inspire me to keep making these videos uh, for you. And keep that dialogue open. See you later. Bye. And I think maybe we learn who we are.